Hey, Willis. On Thursday is game one of the NBA Finals, and so we are going to be talking about our playoff standouts, surprises, and predictions. I'm Sam. I'm here with Ryan, Patrick, and Mason. Let's get to it. So I feel like our first, my first surprise as like a role player, Jaden McDaniels, he really, he really guarded KD well in game one, which led to them sweeping. And then he shot 42% from three, which is up from his usual 33%. One of my playoff surprises is um, Josh Hart after um, he went off with Brunson in the uh, Eastern Conference semis, and he really picked it up until game six when he got hurt. That kind of set him back, but all the way up until then, he was really shining throughout the playoffs. Uh, my first playoff surprise is Andrew Nemhard. Uh, he averaged 15 points per game in his first ever playoffs, and against Derek White, had a 33 point performance, which is really hard to do. Uh, speaking of Derek White, my um, biggest playoff surprise is Derek White. He went 40% um, from three and uh, is balling for the Celtics right now. Um, he's the perfect uh, role player along Tatum and Brown for the Celtics. My other surprise is PJ Washington in game six of round two. He uh, ended the series with his two clutch free throws, which put them up by one. And then, and then he's just been a huge factor in the Maverick success of, so far. Uh, my second surprise is T.J. McConnell. Um, after Tyrese Halliburton went down in the Eastern Conference Finals, he really stepped up and went off. The Celtics really couldn't guard him. He shot well. He got to the rim, and he's a solid defender. Just a good role player that stepped up for his team. Um, my second surprise is Derek Lively. Uh, he really showed poise for only being 20 years old, and against Rudy Gobert, went 16 for 16 in the Eastern in the Western Conference Finals. So, all right. So we named our surprises. Now let's do people that we kind of expected to do good since they're like stars. I have Donovan Mitchell. He's in like I think Game Six of the first round, he scored more points than the rest of his whole team combined, and he still lost. In Game 7, he kind of carried them to get to the second round against the Magic. And then while he was in the game, he he took a game from the Celtics, and then when he was hurt, his team just crumbled and flopped. Uh, my playoff standout is Jalen Brunson. He had four straight 40-point games from the last three games of the Eastern Conference first round to game one of the Eastern Conference semis. Um, he carried his team, him and Josh Hart, to the to game seven of the Eastern Conference semis where they just ran into a high-flying uh, Pacers team that they couldn't beat. But uh, My player is Jalen Brown. He averaged 25 points and also won the Eastern Conference Finals MVP. He, uh, he took... He took on the challenge of guarding Pascal Siakam. He did a pretty good job guarding him. So, uh, my player is uh, Kyrie. He's the perfect star along next to Luca, and some of his finishes around the rim are just insane. It's hard to guard him f for anybody, honestly. Now we are gonna give some predictions on how we think the finals are gonna go. I think that the Celtics are gonna win it in seven, because. I mean, they're going to have a tough time with the backcourt for the Mavericks, but we also have a great defensive backcourt along with just a bunch of good role players and stars. And I think the finals MVP is going to be Derek White. I think he's going to put the clamps on Kyrie and Luka, and it's going to be like Andre Iguodala in 2015 or Kawhi in 2014. Or, yeah. Uh, my prediction, I got Mavs in six, I think. As good as the Celtics' defensive backcourt is, the Mavericks' offensive backcourt is just that much better. I think they're the second-best offensive backcourt of all time behind Steph and Clay. But um, Kyrie will have a tough time with Drew Holiday, but I don't think the Celtics are going to stop Luka. He's just he's too big. He's too good. Um, they're really going to have a lot of trouble with him. And uh, my finals MVP is going to be Luka Doncic. Uh, I think the Celtics are winning in six. Uh, for them to win in Dallas, they're going to have to like really guard Luka on the pick and roll and just make him shoot terrible shots like he did in game game four of the Timberwolves series. And my finals MVP is Jalen Brown. 
Um, I got the Celtics in six. Um, I just think the Celtics are just one through five. They're just, I mean, the whole roster is just better than the Mavs. They, the Mavs have Kyrie and Luka, but I just think the Celtics are that much better. And my finals MVP is also Jalen Brown. He won it in the Eastern Conference MVP or the Larry Bird Award. award and um, I think he's going to do it again in the finals. All right. See um, how this goes. Oh. My, I also I have an X factor for the NBA Finals. Ooh. My X factor is Derek Lively. I think he's going to be huge for the Mavericks to be able to guard uh, Christoph Porzingis and to try and shut him down. He's probably going to be healthy again. So he's my X factor for the Finals. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. Thank you.